Hello everyone, it's Orshi Parkani from womenasentrepreneurs.com.au and today I'm interviewing Kim McGuinness, the amazing Kim McGuinness who <laughs> has been running Network Central for a number of years. Thank you Kim for having us. Thank you for inviting me. Um, you've been running an organization for women for many years. Uh, I'd really like to know how it impacted your life why you chose this business and how wow. how did it impact your life oh um gee, it seems so far ago it was 13 years ago now um i was involved in the area where i help produce events and programs and stuff to help small business people you worked mm. for someone else yeah i worked yeah. for a business chamber and i also worked for a newspaper and that was um it was fantastic i loved it you know the the seeing the growth in these people that from the benefit of the programs that we would put together were just that was the biggest buzz for me it was it was watching these people grow and i loved it um and then i went looking around for um somewhere to go for myself and i was in middle management and i had a team and everything else and there was nothing and you know there was industry based things and, and yep. stuff like that but there wasn't a, a network where I could meet people from all different industries and all different areas but all in the the common denominator was the middle management so that's when I started the business women's breakfast series and then I still had my conference company after I left the corporate world and I produced conferences for that market and it was great loved it um, but then you know I had children and life took a different <laughs> course and so I built the network around the breakfast series um, the breakfast series was going really well and it was a lot of fun was that only for women or was it yeah it was at that time it was only for women because um, there really wasn't that many things around back then that were yeah. just for women and I felt that we needed it then mm -hmm. I think we've evolved from it a little bit now um, but you know the passion of watching people grow is the thing that's remained the same through the whole thing and building the network around it has been fabulous and rewarding and you know impacted my life I mean it is my life it, yeah it, it it's taken me through you know a solid yeah. network is, is your support structure that catches you when you fall it 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 teaches you when you need to be taught it, it quite shuts you up when you needed needed to be shut up you know like it's it's people who know you well enough to say hey that's not the way to do this why don't you try that or mm. it's you know I know this great person who could teach you so much why don't I introduce you Uh, it, it's that sort of connection yeah. that is so, so incredibly important. So you started important. to help these women to form yeah. that, those connections. And it's like a mutual yeah. mentoring society. <laughs> it's just fantastic. <laughs> I love it. And it, it, it's just, and just I'm grew. thoroughly addicted. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thoroughly addicted. Anyone that tells you Your path that it's person. easy is lying. Yeah. Um, it's not easy. It's not always easy. But if you have that solid passion and purpose for what you're doing, it's not as hard as it needs to be you know it um you just you get through it and yeah. and you build each day is, is i i love working i look forward to work i look forward to um my events i look forward to meeting my members i look even if it's just a coffee i really look forward yeah. to it because i'm passionate about them mm -hmm. and excited for what they're going to teach me that day mm -hmm. you know it's not just yeah. about you know, putting a speaker on stage is going to teach them. We all yeah. teach each other. The, the, the members are, are just as exciting as who's on the stage. Yeah. The thing I've learned now being in business so long is when I do have a day like that, when it is really difficult to get going, I go do something that's not that difficult. Right. So I'll spend the day on LinkedIn or I'll, I'll go and ha ring people up and go and have a coffee with them. I go network because that always energizes mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Um, and those days are always the most productive in a funny sort of way because... I'll end up with um, a million ideas that I didn't have before just mm. from talking to people. I've connected with people I hadn't connected with before. I've made some new connections. Um, I've really enjoyed myself and, and you know, you, yeah. you, you expand your awareness, you expand others' awareness of you and you learn things along the way. What uh, three pieces of advice, or only just one or two, would you give to your fellow uh, female entrepreneurs? Uh, when those then the times are tough don't give up um, if you really believe what you're doing take yourself away for a weekend go camping for a weekend yeah. it's the best yeah. grounding get thing. a tent just yeah. buy a tent go <laughs> 
get close to nature, on open become shift. completely unplugged and give yourself a chance and your brain a chance to to recharge because you know our brains are muscles the same as we are mm -hmm. uh, we're made up of, of functioning corpuscles if you want to put it that way um, but our our brains need a chance to rest you know we we push them too hard we, we push ourselves too hard we push our bodies too hard we put we don't eat the right things you know there's so many things that contribute to um, to, to exhaustion and overwhelm and I think we just need to pull ourselves away and it's you know your best ideas come in the shower so take yourself away for a weekend and just get completely unplugged and get back to nature and that's the best thing but times get tough because you'll come back with absolute clarity find that clarity because if you have clarity about your business and you can articulate what it is that you're trying to achieve in one sentence then everything else will just fall into place behind that but you need to be clear yeah. And not overwhelmed, so that you can drive it with, you know, a, a, a solid direction that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no point. But you know, be real about why you're doing what you're doing. It's not about money. Money's, you know, money follows where, yeah, where follow. passion mm -hmm. goes. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, and when I say it's not about the money, every business is about the money. Every you have to know your figures and know you, know your um, balance sheet and know why you're running your business but also how to run it yeah. that's very very important so don't forget those it's, it's I'm not saying money's not important because it is yeah. but know why you're doing what it is that you're doing to make that money yeah and be clear about that um, and then you'll just be so much more focused and driven and and all that sort of thing I, I'm a big believer in the power of three mm -hmm. you do three things that, um, and no more because otherwise you'll overwhelm yourself okay. so your business might have three different directions it's yeah. I live by that mantra and it's worked for me every single time mm -hmm. okay that's great mm -hmm. yeah you are I know that you're also a big believer of mentoring absolutely absolutely um, I love to hear your oh look about that. my mentor program is my pinnacle of the year I, I just to watch these people go through this six-month transformational process and come out the other end sometimes completely different um, is, is just beautiful it's um, it's fascinating to watch and I think you know we have a responsibility to teach as much as we have a responsibility to learn and quite often the well, most all the time the mentors will get exactly the same amount out of it as the ment yep. mentees do so you know if you want clarity in where you're going go mentor, mentor somebody else and find their clarity because you'll find yours by osmosis yeah. There is always someone who can benefit from your Absolutely. experience. Oh, that's so nice to Truly see like the mentor friends. from you coming out, even <laughs> just doing this interview. <laughs> so it's really, that's who you are. And that's great that it comes out from everything you do. Thank you. Your fabulousness. And you. Thank you so much, Kim, for My having pleasure. us here at your beautiful home. <laughs> um, you watch Women as Entrepreneurs with Oshi and Kim McGinnis. See you guys Thank next you. time. Bye. Bye-bye.